Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries, and today we're talking about intermittent fasting, you guys. So won't you go ahead and stay tuned? Okay, you guys. So first disclaimer, I have like some allergies going on today, you guys. So if you hear me sniffling, I'm gonna have to pause every now and then to blow my nose. So uh, that's that. If you like, she looking a little dry around the eyes. That is. Uh, so let's get uh, right on into it. But before we actually get right on into it, I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory. If you guys haven't gone and checked out my video, um, I did a water fast, you should definitely go on ahead and watch that video. Um, during the water fast, I really pulled a doozy on myself as well as my body. Um, I became completely dehydrated and I started having really severe heart palpitations that landed me in the emergency room. I had to get fluids and all of that stuff. It was a crazy ride. Um, so after that, what I noticed is when I tried to do, um, like fad diets or crash diets, I would start getting heart palpitations when I lower my calories too low. So, um, basically what that meant is the almighty was basically telling me like, Hey, you got to do this the old fashioned way with a uh, hard work and dedication. So I decided that, okay, I'm going to take baby steps, which is nothing wrong with baby steps. So I started um, walking on the treadmill. I told myself I was going to start walking on the treadmill. I have a little note card here, a little index card that I put the information down on. So if you see me glancing down, that's what I'm looking at. I'll go ahead and post pictures also from my um, calendar and my phone just to coincide with the information that I'm giving you. It's a couple of things on this card that are not in the calendar, but it may be just like two things. So not a biggie. So let's go ahead and get started. So, um, January 21st, I started walking on the treadmill. The reason why I started walking on the treadmill is because I gained weight. I gained maybe about like 10 pounds. Now, from the water fast, I pretty much gained all that weight back, but it distributed a different type of weight, which everybody knows with the water fast, that was kind of like, it's to be expected. So, anywho. So, but previously I had gained um, about 10 pounds, which I was like, that's not cool. So I told myself that I was going to start walking on the treadmill. So January 21st was my first day actually walking on the treadmill. Um, my starting weight was 248.6. So um, that was not what's popping, you know. Um, I can't even believe that. I even said that number out loud because that's, you know, a big step for me. But that's what it was. I was 248.6, you guys, January 21st. So I started work, walking on the treadmill. I did. I decided that I was going to do 20 minutes on the treadmill. I didn't want to do 30 because I wanted to. I wanted a time where I felt like I could do it and not feel like overwhelmed with the amount of time that I was going to have to be on the treadmill. For me personally, I was just like, oh my God, 30 minutes is just a lot for me starting out. So I was like, you know, we'll do 20. Like I said, baby steps. So I started walking on the treadmill. My speed that I was walking on the treadmill at the time was 2.5 and my incline was at a six. Uh, with my treadmill um, at home, the top speed is 10 and the top incline is 10. So my incline was six and my speed was at a 2.5. That was comfortable for me at the time. Um, so from January 21st to January 23rd, I was watching like loads of videos on YouTube about, um, different things that, you know, you can do or different ways to help you actually lose weight a little bit faster. Because even though I didn't, I wasn't doing like the low calorie, I still wanted to lose weight fast, you know. So, um, January 23rd, I started doing HIIT. And that's high interval something. Try I'll put the name here because I can't. Every time I try to remember what the actual acronym stand for, I always forget. So I'll put it here. I started doing HIT. Now with HIT, um, I did eight reps of I will walk at a speed of 2.5 for 90 seconds. And then I will run at a speed of 3.4 for 30 seconds and I just would do that over and over again I did eight reps of that when I started out with the hit I would do two minutes of warm-up and then two minutes of cool down so all in all the workout was maybe like 16 17 minutes or something like that with the two minutes at the beginning and two minutes at the end or whatever and my incline was still at a six 
So, you know, it was going fine and all of that stuff. But I just kind of felt like, eh, you know, maybe hit is going to be for me. Maybe it's not going to be for me. So I did, you know, I did stick to hit for a little bit. Um, January 27th, because I was still doing research on YouTube, I started uh, OMAD. And what OMAD stands for is one meal a day. So I would eat my one meal a day at like three o'clock in the afternoon. My eating window would be from three to four and then I wouldn't eat again till the next day at three. So my calorie intake during OMAD was about 1200 calories. When I started on January 21st, until the 27th, I was pretty much like eating what I wanted to eat, but I was just kind of being a little bit more conscious about what I was eating. When I started uh, the workout uh, January 21st, walking on the treadmill, I absolutely cut out um, juice. I'm a big juice person. I'm not a big pop person, but I am a big juice person. Um, I like all types of juices, but the, my favorite juice that I would normally drink is like cranberry juice. So, but sometimes I will go for the VA splashes and stuff like that, but I cut out the juices altogether and I was just sticking to water. It was water and tea, which I still drink, you know, the tea because I love my tea. So, anywho, I started Old Man January 27th. I weighed myself January 28th and I was 245 even so from january 21st starting at 248.6 to january 28th i was 245 even so um kept doing the uh the i actually had ended up i stopped the hit around the time that i started oh man was it around the time that i started oh man yeah, you know what? Yeah, I actually did not. I didn't do the hit that long. I didn't. I did not do hit that long. I might have did it for maybe, yeah, from like the 23rd to the like the 27th or the 28th of January, I did hit. The reason I stopped hit was because I really felt like I wasn't losing any more weight than I would have lost during doing uh, OMAD and watching my calorie intake. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to spare my knees and just not even do hit anymore so i had stopped doing hit like on the 27 28 around this time that i started OMAD. so um i didn't i checked my weight january 28th i was 245 even um i just basically went back to walking on the treadmill regular for the same 20 minutes um at a 2.5 speed and the incline of six i weighed myself again january 31st and i was 243.2 so I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, I'm still losing weight. So that's good and all. Um, February 4th through the 7th, um, I ate horribly. I ate horribly. Um, I wasn't doing the OMAD during that time. I wouldn't say I ate horribly, but I didn't eat as well as I would normally have ate. Sorry, guys, I'm going to take a sip of tea. Yes, this is a big cup of tea, but I like my tea. You know, I'll talk about this tea a little bit later. So, um, February 4th through the 7th, I pretty much ate what I wanted to eat. I wasn't on any type of, um, eating schedule or anything like that. I was just eating. So February, what I realized from February 4th to February 7th was, although before that I was doing the OMAD, what I realized was, it was a lot for me. It was a lot for me to do the OMAD. I, I understood that OMAD is not going to be something that is going to be something that I was going to be able to do on a day to day. It was pretty much like, okay, I'm going to do OMAD right now so I could lose the weight. And then once I lose the weight I want to lose, I'm going to go back to doing what I want to do. What I really wanted, once I actually sat down and thought about it, what I really wanted was something that I could do that was going to be a lifestyle change. Something that I could do on a day-to-day -day that would just become part of my habit. So February 8th was my last day on uh, OMAD. I decided like, nope, I don't want to do OMAD. That's just, I don't want to do it anymore. I know that I can do it. And so that was it. One thing I will say about the water fast is it taught me a lot about mind over matter. So it made it very easy for me to tell myself like, okay, well, you know, you just can't eat because it's like, if you can go all day eating nothing at all, and you're only drinking water, surely you can go hours without eating and eat 
one meal at a certain amount of time. So that in, in that aspect, the water fast really did help me with the whole mind over matter thing. So February 8th, I stopped OMAD. February 8th was my last day of OMAD. Um, February 9th, I weighed myself and I was 242.4. And that's when I started my intermittent fasting. Now, on the 9th, when I started my intermittent fasting, I was doing the 20... Four. So I would fast for 20 hours and then I would eat for four hours. And throughout this whole time, um, I would, my, my time, my cutoff time for my eating was eight o'clock. That was from the 21st up until now, but now we're on February 12th. So from then, from the 21st to the 12th, I was doing the, uh, I was still cutting my food off at eight. I still do that now. One second, you guys, I need to blow my nose. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I started intermittent fasting February 9th. February 12th, I weighed myself. So from the 9th to the 12th, I was doing the 24. The reason why I switched on the 12th from the 24th, the 12th was the last day I did the fasting for 20 hours and eating in a four hour window. Um, the 13th, I switched to 16-8. And the reason why I switched was because again, I had to sit down and be realistic with myself. It's like, can you on a day-to-day -day basis for the rest of your life, can you really say that I'm okay with fasting for 20 hours and then only eating for four, like in a four hour window. And I was like, no, that's not, that's not me being realistic with myself. Again, that was me setting a, a parameter for me to be like, okay, well you can do this now. And then once you get to that certain weight, then you could just do something else. I didn't want to do that. I'm trying to get myself in a mind frame where this is your lifestyle. So this is what you do on a day to day basis, not just to lose a certain amount of weight. This is what you do every day. So on the 13th, I was still doing the intermittent fasting, but I switched to 16-8, where I fasted for 16 hours and my eating window was 8. In the past, I've done intermittent fasting and 16-8 was the time frame that I've always chosen and I, I had tremendous results from that. After I had my son, my highest weight was like 288 or something like that, like almost 290. Like it was, it was bad. I gained 50 pounds with him. And then afterwards it was just, it was a mess. A lot of people say, oh, when you breastfeed, you lose weight. That did not happen for me, unfortunately, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So the February 13th, I started doing the 16-8. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's not uh, that time again. But for me, my time to shine with intermittent fasting is the summertime because I love fruit. And so all of the fruit is popping in the summertime. So I just really can just eat fruit all day and then the weight just comes off. But, you know, right now we're in, we're in March, actually. So in February, that just wasn't the thing to be doing. So I really just had to... No, well, not that it wasn't a thing to be doing, but a lot of fruit is not really like in season right now that I know of. Just like the basic fruit. And I, you know, I still have the basic fruit. So February 13th, I started doing the 16-8. Worked is working perfectly for me. So I eat at 12. I eat at noon. Well, I, st I break my fast at noon. And then I stop eating around 7 because 8 o'clock is my cutoff time. I don't, I didn't want to have my last meal around eight o'clock or like 10 minutes before eight o'clock because I didn't want to, I just didn't want to be eating that close to eight o'clock. So seven o'clock for me works fine. It's like, okay, so you finished up your eating for the day at seven o'clock. And then when eight o'clock comes, you'll just fast until the next day. That works out for me. So that's what I do. So I break my fast at noon and then my eating window is from noon to eight. And then I just, eight o'clock, I just know that you, you're not eating anything else until noon the next day, which is fine. So um, after the 12th, I didn't weigh myself again. February 15th was my monthly started. And I weighed myself February 15th. I don't know why I did it. I think I was just on some like, I just want to see. And I was 20, uh, no 20. I was 240.6. So February 12th, I was 240.4. And then I got my monthly on the 15th of February. And I was 240.6. 
So I have my, my monthly, my monthly left and all that good stuff. And um, I didn't weigh myself again until February 23rd. When I weighed myself February 23rd, I was 238.4, which meant from January 21st to February 23rd, I lost about um, 10 pounds, like maybe, maybe 10 pounds and like two ounces or something like that. But it was 10 pounds, y'all. So it was 10 pounds in about a month which I was very, very proud of myself because I felt like I did it the right way. I was conscious about what I was eating. I was conscious about what I was doing. I made sure that I wasn't cutting my calories too much. Like when I started the intermittent fasting, I absolutely stopped counting my calories. I just am more mindful of what I eat. So like this is a big cup, but this is the cup of tea that I normally will make when I break my fast. So this is some black tea that I um that I drink all the time. Um I'll put a picture here, whatever. Um they come, you get this in tea bags. Um I use the Keurig for this or whatever. But um when I drink this, I add sugar because I like my sugar. And I also put three capfuls of the apple cider vinegar with the mother in there. I don't like measure perfectly. I'm just like one cap, two cap, three caps of the apple cider vinegar in here. Um, if, you, if you're not a tea drinker, you could put the apple cider vinegar in infused water. I don't know. It's millions of ways that people um, implement um, apple cider vinegar with the mother into their uh, daily life. So if you want to watch those videos, some people drink it straight, some people drink it with lemon juice and you know, so it's so many different ways that you can actually uh, use apple cider vinegar when you're eating or you're drinking something. So, you know, you guys can search on YouTube for that. I'm not going to go down the laundry list. So, um, that's pretty much, I always, when I break my fast at noon, I always break my fast with a, um, cup of tea. And then after that, you know, I kind of just go throughout my day and I just basically like, I eat when I'm hungry. I eat if I'm hungry, like I'll still drink water and stuff like that. One thing that I started doing is like, when I feel hungry, I'll drink some water and if I'm still hungry, like 30 minutes after I drink the water, then I'll go ahead and eat because what I noticed is when you're thirsty and when you're hungry sometimes your being thirsty will make you feel like you're hungry but you're not really hungry you're really just thirsty so what i started doing was i would just drink some water i'll wait 30 minutes if i'm still hungry after 30 minutes then i'll go ahead and eat um not counting my calories anymore that is just not something that i'm doing um the whole time maybe from like January 27th, I started with, I upped my incline when I started doing the old man. So I was doing six and I went from like six to like 6.5. Now um, in March, I do, um, I still do the speed at three, but my incline is at an eight. So I'm slowly working myself up on the incline. The My treadmill only goes up to an incline of 10. And I'm still working at a speed of three. That just works out for me. Sometimes I hold on to the, the bars on the side. Sometimes I don't. People are like, well, if you got to hold on to the bars to walk, then it's going too fast. I say, if you're not falling, then it ain't too fast. That's just how I feel. You have to do what works for you. Don't let people on YouTube or anybody else tell you how fast you need to be walking or how slow you need to be walking. You need to walk at a speed that you feel comfortable. If you feel more comfortable holding on to the sides of the bar, then guess what, boo-boo? Hold on to the sides of those bars. Don't make nobody feel don't let nobody make you feel like you're not getting a good workout or just as good of a workout as anybody else who's not holding on to the side of the bars because you are. Um, the calories that I burn with my workout, I do a 20-minute workout. Um, I walk at a speed of 2.5 with an incline of 8 for um, 2 minutes. And then the rest of the time, I walk at the 8 incline at a speed of 3. And then for the last 2 minutes, I drop the incline all the way down to 0. And then I walk at a speed from two uh, of 2.5 for my 2-minute cool down. I do that just about every day from January 21st to now i might have missed maybe like maybe like maybe like 
six or seven days something like that it hasn't been it hasn't been many when i was on my uh, monthly i missed one day and then the next day i went you know got on the treadmill even though i did a lower speed i did an incline of six and i did a speed of 2.5 because i just felt horrible but i knew that i needed to get that workout in um, when I do my workouts, I normally burn between 160 and 170 calories. Other people might burn more than that. I'm drenched in sweat. I'm cool with that cal. I'm cool with those calories. I'm not tripping on that. I'm not really worried about that. What I'm worried about is how I look in my clothes. I'm not even so much worried about the scale because the scale is 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 gonna is always gonna say something that you not necessarily are gonna want to see so it's like i go by what i look like in my clothes now but i do want those numbers to get lower though i'm not gonna lie but when i put my clothes on now like i see i'm like <laughs> she poking oh she went poking before i'm like oh it's big huh like <laughs> Where does where does where does Latouche come from? It it wasn't there before. Trust, I've I've never been like a super super duper shapely girl. Like I'm five eleven, but I've never been like you know, I've never been like super shapely. But now when I put my clothes on, I'm like okay, she <laughs> she poking out. She she trying to be summertime fine. I'm with it. I'm with it. What it do? So um, I'm definitely noticing changes in my body. I'm noticing that my weight is uh, distributed uh, differently. It's um, just, everything is just, it's, it's kind of just like evening, it's evening out to me. And I'm loving that. I'm loving being able to see the results. I'll try to see if I could find a, a picture or something. Not in this video, but probably in the next video. I'm going to weigh myself um, on Monday. So I haven't weighed myself since February 23rd. So I'm going to weigh myself on Monday. And then I'll do another video like showing you guys my weight from uh, February 23rd until now. Um, just so we can like see the difference. It, I may have gained some, I may have lost some. I don't know. People say muscle weighs more. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gaining muscle. I know my legs feel mad strong though. Mad strong. Um, but I'm like so proud of myself. The reason why I'm just coming to you guys about this intermittent fasting now is because in all honesty, I wanted to make sure that this was going to be something that I was actually going to stick to before I actually presented, presented it to you guys. Um, this is the first time that I've actually have exercised this long. Like I did the 30 day shred, um, with, uh, Mama Aries and that was great. It was hard, but that was great. But this was the first time that I'm sorry, a little thing had popped up on my screen. This was the first time that I actually am doing something where, I, where this is like a part of my day. It's a part of my day. Like walking on the treadmill is a part of my day. Um, not eating until noon is not an issue at all. Not eating after eight is not an issue at all. I'm not hungry. A lot of times I don't even be thirsty. I'm absolutely fine with um the time frames. It just that's just what it is. I'm super duper happy that. I'm finally at a place where I could be like, okay, well, this is a lifestyle. This is something that I could do every day, day to day. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about counting calories like I had to do with OMAD. I don't have to worry about feeling all sluggish and bogged down because I just stuffed 1,200 calories in one meal during OMAD. Like, that just wasn't for me. It's for a lot of other people, but it's not for me. Just like HIT was not for me, but HIT is for a lot of other people. Maybe I wasn't doing it right. Maybe I was, and it just legit was not right for me. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come to you guys because I'm like, I'm ready now. I'm like super duper ready now. Oh, really quickly, you guys, um, I did go ahead and post a video on my other YouTube channel, Vibin. That's V-I-Y-B-E-N. That's my plus size boutique for all my curvy cuties, starting with sizes XL, going up to 6X and beyond because we always looking for larger sizes. Um, regarding where I get my business cards and my hang tags from. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll go ahead and post the link to that YouTube channel in the description. And uh, anybody who's thinking about doing intermittent fasting, just go for it. Um, they have so many different um ways that you can do intermittent fasting. You don't have to do the 16, 8. You can do any type of variation. It's great as a lifestyle change. I think the best way to, to try to lose weight is to try to think of it on a on a, a scale of just something that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. Those crash diets, they're cool and all, but in all honesty, 
they they're gonna fail once you don't do them anymore that's just a lot of times that's just how that works out but you know hey hopefully it's different for you but that's just my personal experience so yeah so that's it you guys that's all i have for you guys so as always it's gonna be it for me candace the aries and always remember to enjoy the journey